Hello, Cancerians. Welcome to your reading. Welcome back to Maluna Tarot. I'm sending you so much love and light. Let's begin this message for you. If you have cancer placements in your chart, this reading may resonate with you. This is the King of Cups here. There's something here coming in for you that you don't see, Cancer. This is very favorable. Lucky. Wheel of Fortune. King of Swords. Aries Leo. <laughs> Why did I say Aries Leo? You may be dealing with an Aries Leo. Gemini. Libra, Aquarius, Three of Wands, gaining higher guidance. There's a masculine here who's gaining higher guidance, divine intervention, epiphany, realization. Something here is happening here with a masculine. Ace of Swords, the King of Swords is somebody here who sees the path forward, communicates, tells the truth, very straightforward. This person here is manifesting because we have the Magician and the Three of Wands. You may have air in your chart. However, I don't see this as you. See, this is somebody whom you are connected to, Cancer. Manifestation, the Three of Wands is manifestation, law of attraction. This person here is manifesting something because there's been, there's been something, there's been a change, there's been something unexpected here that has happened recently. We have the Wheel of Fortune, King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, that King of Swords wants to show. This is somebody here wanting to communicate with you. This is a soulmate. Don't tell me no. This is a soulmate, and I said Gemini. It doesn't have to be a Gemini. It could be another Cancerian. So wanting to take action towards a connection with you. This could be somebody, something here coming back to a source. is someone whom you're not speaking to. This could talk about a decision with this two of swords. Two of, the lovers, the lovers. This person here sees... Someone's gaining realization about a connection with you. So we have the King of Cups here. And we have the Sun. This could be a Leo. I think I channeled Leo um, earlier on. It doesn't have to be. This is a new beginning. This is, I just heard passion, a new beginning. Ace of Wands. I'm channeling the Ace of Wands for you. I don't know where that came from. Ace of Wands is a masculine energy. Don't feel guided to use this deck. Sun, sun energy and the judgment. Forgiveness. I'm seeing forgiveness here. Could be a Taurus or a Virgo. I'm seeing hermit and the Taurus energy. Look at the tower here wanting to show. Sudden change, upheaval, chaos, revelation. That is his king of swords. A revelation. It's happening here from somebody who... I feel like there, there may be no communication. You're not speaking to this energy with this two of swords. They're stalemate. But you see how from we go from this two of swords to the wheel of fortune... And this is this talks about movement, destiny. What is that? I just heard confirmation. I just heard like a motorcycle outside. So your person may drive a motorcycle. I just heard an engine, very loud engine suddenly. Speaking of engine, we have the chariot. So it's going to be a vehicle or something. I don't know where I'm going with this, but I heard something outside. And we have the sun with the ten of cups. Wow. Okay. And the ace of pentacles. And the full card, which could, which talks about new beginnings. Okay. The Ten of Cups is wishes for, and not just, we'll give, it maybe a wish, Cancer, wishes fulfillment. It is emotional fulfillment, happiness. These are the two happiest cards in the tarot, the Sun and the Ten of Cups, with the Ace of Pentacles and the Fool is a brand new beginning here for you. Okay. Divine here is, Divine is gu guiding somebody. I'm hearing Revelation again. Finding meaning, that's that's what I'm reading in this in this temperance, finding the meaning, Sagittarius energy. So it is about a revelation. The judgment could talk about an awakening, and that is the tower here. I felt like I wasn't connected. I didn't want to use this deck. I'm going to leave the judgment here, Scorpio energy, and let's move on. Okay, <laughs> Someone may be moving on. I don't know what I feel guided here to use. I had a very strange... Uh, experience before this reading I woke up very late which is rare for me uh, but then again I was up at three four five in the morning I fell asleep then I woke up I feel like I just shifted timelines I don't even know what this reading is going to be about I feel like it's about a soulmate that somebody here clearly is waiting for worth waiting for divine timing that is a wheel of fortune work is in your love life divine timing stay optimistic because divine timing is at work. I did not read that properly the first time around. Divine timing is at work in your life. Stay optimistic. Romantic feelings. Past life relationship. There's a soulmate here coming back. Oh my God. 
I didn't see the lovers with this judgment. There's a soulmate. It's like spirit wants me to use this deck. Okay, uh, page page of wands is a message coming to you, to you. The queen of cups from this past life soulmate. Six of cups. Someone you've known for a while. Someone you've known even from childhood doesn't have to for a while. You've known this person. Okay, this is this is somebody who's thinking of you. Nostalgic memories. Um, I heard premonition. This could be a water sign like you, Cancer Pisces. We have the High Priestess. We have the High Priestess with the Queen of Cups. And this to me is Cancerian energy. Very strong Cancerian energy. Queen of Cups and the High Priestess with the Six of Cups. Page of Wands is something new, exciting, but it's also in the form of news and a message. It does say union here. We saw the temperance in the, in the, the Ten of Cups could be about reconciling we have this rebirth of this connection here we have a rebirth of a connection with a soulmate i don't know how else to read this because it's destined because it's it's bringing in a lot of fulfillment here it's going to be bringing in a lot of fulfillment okay if you're not thinking that this is someone i feel like this is somebody you know you have to know this but we have judgment and six of cups six of cups and judgment is are two energies for that that talk about the you know something re returning back the past or wanting to reconnect there's compat there's compatibility here love harmony the strength of two together worth waiting for and stay optimistic that is what spirit is saying i'm going to leave this here because i did shuffle this deck stay optimistic romantic feelings the two of you may be from different uh backgrounds we have honeymoon we do have honeymoon. This is for you, Cancer. We have high priestess. That, that, this is you. This is you here. Somebody returning back to you. You may be returning back to a soulmate. What is this king of swords here communicating to you? We have the lovers here twice. Let's clarify the lovers energy. We have the four of swords. Contemplation of a new beginning. I saw the four of swords with... Why don't we use this deck? I saw the four of swords with uh, the full energy. Contemplation of a new beginning. Look at what's at the bottom of this deck. Let me make sure there's nothing left. Yeah, two of cups. We have the two of cups. Attraction. The two of cups is about two people. Okay, page of wands. Page of wands. News coming in. Are the, the cards showing? News coming in. This person may be discovering here something. Okay, news messages. Information. Excitement. Freedom. It does say freedom. Romantic feelings for a high priestess. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Romantic feelings. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So the divine is saying for you to stay positive because there is news coming in with this page of wands. We have it here. Okay, and look, the two of cups wants to show. I parted the deck. The two of cups attraction. Two of cups is a partnership. It is a partnership between two people. What is this lover's energy here for cancer? Six of cups. This is somebody here who it's a lot of happiness here. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, communicating, Ace of Swords, Eight of Wands, more communication. This person here is coming in to invest. I'm seeing the Seven of Pentacles here. New ideas, inspiration. Eight of Wands is something coming very fast, coming in very fast. Again, news. There's news here from somebody who you're not talking to be a fire sign doesn't have to be we have air and you know when i began the reading i started talking i started i began channeling this is somebody here communicating with you well there's clear communication ace of wands i feel like this is happiness happy look look at this nine of cups i don't know what happened to me last night i feel like i'm channeling in a way that feels different let me know in the comment section i don't know what's going on in this reading um this person may be struggling at this time four of pentacles because they're holding on to this connection and there's clearly no communication well there will be clarify okay so this lovers this is communication coming in from the soulmate who could be waiting for you or you're waiting or you have waited for this energy this is something here returning back it says here redemption awakening forgiveness for this judgment it's twice that i say that during this reading forgiveness something i saw it on the, with its hierophant taurus energy and I'm seeing it now with this judgment. It says here, forgiveness. You may have to forgive your soulmate. Calling in your soulmate. If there's a, you know what it is? Okay, this is me channeling now. This person has an inner calling. 
towards this connection with you. The King of Wands is an energy who takes action. We have the Queen of Cups here, which is you, Cancer, and the High Priestess. Okay, stay in tune with your intuition at this time. Um, you're headed towards a period of growth is what this High Priestess says here. So that is that is what Spirit is saying. You know, the Wheel of Fortune is now things starting to, I see movement now. And I continue to hear the word premonition. So this person has received some sort of inner calling, premonition. Look at this page of wands again showing. Page of wands is about messages. It's here. Um, Sagittarius, someone that could have been immature in the past. This person may have children. You may have children. But this page of wands is something about... Here, I'm going to read it again. Let's read this page of wands. You're embarking on something new, but you may not have a plan in place or know where you're headed. It's like this energy has got, had gathered a new idea now. They don't know how they're going into implement or strategize this new idea but they feel inspired they do feel inspired and i feel like they're communicating they're, go they're going to be communicating this to you jim and i very strongly so you need to act to activate that creative restlessness somehow but be sure to put some energy into plotting out see i just talked about strategizing plotting out your journey before jumping in find a mentor mentor Someone here may be advising this person here to ask you for forgiveness, so, you know, because I saw that I saw that on the Hierophant. OK, and we have here on this um, judgment energy, this person that you that you know, that you do know. Uh, news coming in from this energy, they do feel inspired. This is a new, new ideas on this Ace of Swords, new ideas. This could have been somebody that was very narrow minded with this Two of Swords. It's like now they feel inspired optimistic there's feelings here page of what is this page of wands here look at this this the page the page of wands is showing with the seven of swords nine of cups and the two of cups you know what this seven of swords in this in this dynamic with this nine of cups nine of cups is here it's about strategizing okay there's a person here who is strategizing gaining self-confidence and look at the two of cups there's no re there's no coincidence there is a reason why this two of cups is showing why i showed this two of cups uh prior look this person here wants to achieve something the chariot they want to achieve victory or this is you i read here you're headed towards a period of growth that's what you're headed towards chariot it is a seven we have justice we have justice libra energy justice is 11 um seven july set july 11th maybe someone's birthday but this chariot is a major arcana for cancer. And I just read you're headed towards a period of growth where look at this nine of pentacles is about accomplishing an accomplishment for you. But we do have love here. The two of cups is it's a mutual, mutual attraction. Nine of cups wishes fulfillment. Don't tell me no. This sun energy is so much happiness here coming in for you. There's somebody here strategizing. Okay, with that seven of swords, that is what I see. There's a beautiful outcome here for some of you, most of you, I feel. Very strong masculine, so this may be for a Cancerian masculine. Sometimes I know I steer the reading towards more, uh, towards a feminine, uh, feminine, divine feminine. So, but I see, see, I see this uh, Pisces hangman energy. It's a rebirth. It's a rebirth here. Somebody here has received, um, um, it's receiving... What did I say prior? Premonition, an inner calling. Yeah, a premonition could be an earth sign. I love these cards. Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have this King of Wands here taking action. So that is the lover's energy. Communication coming in from the soulmate. Why don't we clarify this Wheel of Fortune? This is communication and we have the Six of Cups here. With the Queen of Cups, so clearly, tell me someone's not thinking of you, and I will, you know, and I would say no, no, that's not it, because clearly, this is somebody here reminiscing um, nostal nostalgia. Okay, there's no, there's there's feelings here. Clearly, the two of you are connected. I'm getting tired of seeing this page of Wands at the bottom of the deck. What is this going on? Seven of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. I'm about to clarify this Wheel of Fortune. destiny divine timing with this wheel of fortune what is this wheel of fortune here for cancer ten of cups ten of cups fulfillment emotional fulfillment this is beautiful ace of cups ace of cups if you've if you've been worried 
or distressed at night. Uh, maybe you haven't been sleeping or <laughs> something like that. Because I mentioned, I think I, I mentioned that earlier on. Um, stay optimistic. Stay optimistic. There's there's a lot of happiness here coming in for you, fulfillment. Because we're clarifying this Wheel of Fortune. And look at this Ace of Cups wanting to show Cancer with the Two of Wands. This person here is going to take a risk. Look, I, I don't know if I said Ace of Wands prior. But this is a masculine energy in reflection at this time this person here is looking at themselves looking at their reflection queen of pentacles earth energy and they're they're holding on to a snake so they're, they're they may be looking at their shadow self um self self reflection about codependencies who knows the point is that somebody here's coming in communicating this person has had um some sort of enlightenment that is what i'm going to say with the sun energy enlightenment nine of swords Two of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords. Might have been might, might have been back and forth for some time. Um, because I'm seeing now the two of pentacles here. Yeah, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Multiple options. King of Swords, but they see the path forward. This is somebody here who sees the path forward. What else are we going to here? Let's end the reading with this. Actually, I don't know if I'm gonna end the reading, Cancer. So stay, stay, stay around. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen here, but look. Nostalgia, six of cups. There's a reason why I was emphasizing on this card, okay? Past life soulmates, and we have the lovers here twice. Six of Cups, past life soulmates. Ascending. Re um, I was going to say reminiscing. They are reminiscing. Inner shift, spiritual awakening, and getting past conflict, transcending. I, I said ascending. Okay. Yeah, Jupiter energy. Could be a fire sign. We have this King of Wands. Taking a risk. There's a new opportunity here coming in from this energy that might have been uh, closed off to, or, or maybe they may be closed off to temptation right now. I saw the Seven of Swords. Somebody who is uh, very, very strong earth, um, earth and air. Gemini Libra. I saw closed off. Look at this. Bound. A devil energy. Capricorn. Devil addictions. Patterns. Energy band. Trauma bond. Stuck. This is what they're cutting out, uh, or this is what the realization of the premonition, the transcendence that they're experiencing right now. Um, I feel like something here might have uh, prevented or limited someone from taking action prior. Okay, there was this this thing that they might have been bound to. Okay, and this could have been anything. So, see a masculine here. Look, I want to show you this card. See a masculine thinking. If you notice, is a masculine energy. Looking out a window, thinking of a feminine, divine feminine. We have this Ace of Pentacles, a manifestation, new beginning with this Ace of Swords and the world. Okay, the world says fulfillment and success. And it's a card. It also says karmic completions. Now, I see this Wheel of Fortune connected to this Ace of Pentacles. It is what I'm clarifying here. So whatever's coming in for you, Cancer, in this wheel with this wheel of fortune, okay, momentum. Now the energy picking up momentum, something you have manifested, okay. It may be in the form of finances, okay. That's that potentially this may bring in a lot of financial secure, long term security is what I want to say. It does say prosperity. So it has been the, the completion and the end of a cycle. It has been showing in the readings because somebody here sees the truth. We have the Ace of Swords here twice. See heightened intuition. Seeing things clearly, the truth, the truth, and it's also the truth being spoken, the truth being communicated. You know, you might, you may be, this person may be somebody who couldn't see the truth in the past. They couldn't, they couldn't see, and this is something that they're going to express now. You know, there's no reason why, there's no coincidence, I should say. Uh, I keep saying there's no reason. Why is that? I don't know. I don't know why I'm, I'm channeling. There's no reason. So we have the Ace of Cups, and it said maybe they may be. This person may be thinking that there was no, no, that there's no logic in something, or trying to find the logic. There's fears. There's fear. So may there may be no reason to be fearful. I I don't know where that's coming from. Expressing says on this Ace of Cups. So I was gonna say this Ace of Swords is showing in the reading twice because this is somebody who's clearly communicating and expressing a truth to you and i feel like it has to do with emotions it has to do with emotions um cancer there's a reward here with this wheel of fortune ace of pentacles for you 
this to this this looks like it's uh bringing in potentially a lot of emotional fulfillment if it's money you've wanted this is going to bring in emotional fulfillment if it's a partnership or a soulmate that you have been anticipating for some time it is going to bring in emotional fulfillment i see this energy taking a risk here look at this ace of wands because they're inspired okay someone here feels inspired give me one more energy for this reading for cancer friendship and healing someone wants to heal this friendship with you okay this twin flame this twin flame this is a divine counterpart connection i don't want to show my hand too long on this it is what it is protected you are protected you are safe and divinely guided this is a divine counterpart connection i bet it is we have the lovers here twice friendship keeps showing and the six of cups is twice so again you might have known this person here from when you were from from a lo from a long time you know from when you were i was gonna say have the two of you have known each other for a while this person here is in reflection i keep looking at this card i'm not now looking at this card in the snake you see the snake with a mirror okay here's something here backfire look capricorn incoming news give me one more energy i'm gonna have to take a look at this card major realization no one compares to you that may be what they're realizing at this time tower major realization divine epiphany divine intervention i was going to say but i'm sure maybe the divine soul contract we have cancer leo need to tell you how much you mean to me give me one more energy for this reading no one compares to you that's a realization back look at this magic spell work reversed by the next full moon we have sagittarius at a long distance there could have been another person here sagittarius at a long distance doing magic however you may be connected to a sagittarius emotional fulfillment is showing um that had had some sort of magic energy work and this has now been reversed Something here, backfire here for somebody that was trying to, to, to work with energy. Dreams of you, healing family issues. This could also be a family member. You'd be surprised, right? Endings, new beginnings. I've won you. We have Scorpio. Endings, new beginnings. Yeah, that is that is the energy. Near water, overseas. This person may live near water. When you feel my energy, it's because I'm thinking of you. I feel like this person is saying this to you, this... This energy wants to wants you to know if you you may be thinking about this person brown eyes dark hair we have childhood trauma give me one more energy for cancer messages through music the other person knows memory six of cups i'm sorry for the way i treated you could be a libra will you give me a chance this is emperor masculine energy 11 11 so confirmation blessing on the way that is the sun energy when you feel my energy is because I'm thinking of you. I stay up at night thinking of you. My heart was blocked. I couldn't receive your love. We have very soon. So a wish fulfillment here very soon or a wish grant, a wish granted here. Star Aquarius, Pluto in Aquarius. I know we're meant to be and I made a mistake. I feel foolish because I made a mistake. That is the premonition that this person here is receiving. I feel like there's, a, there's somebody here who's thinking a lot about you. Maybe at nighttime they're, they're, in reflection thinking about something thinking about the fact that the two of you are meant to be major realization cancer i'm going to leave the reading here for now let me know if it resonated leave a comment i'm getting ready to announce the winners for the free deck giveaway i love you guys sending you all so much love and light i'll be back soon with another reading cancer until then namaste